Step 1. Make sure you've closed Microsoft Office. Then you want to go to the link on the screen to get to the Google Drive plugin. Scroll down, click download and then you're going to click accept and install. Now for this demonstration I'm using Google Chrome. Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox will be slightly different. Here on my screen it's downloaded and you're going to go down to the bottom left and click in Google Chrome. Now as this is downloading let's talk about how this is going to work. When you add Google Drive to Microsoft Office, it's really just acting like a file folder in the cloud. You can't really edit in Google Drive and have someone edit in Microsoft Word at the same time. Yours may take a little bit longer to install than mine does, just depending on your speed. Once you're done, you're going to click Close. Now we're ready for Step 3. Activate Google Drive in Microsoft Office. So, Open up Microsoft Word and it's going to ask you some questions to link to your Google Drive account. As soon as you open up Word, it's going to show you a screen that says, do you want to get started? And we're going to click Get Started. Now you're going to enter your Google Drive email and password. If you use Google Apps for Education, it will be your school email and password. Once you've typed your information in, you're going to click Sign In. Then a screen is going to pop up and you're going to click allow. And now we're done. So we're going to click done. So let's talk quickly about how files work. Option A for working with files in Google Drive inside Microsoft Word is to go to Open. Click a Google Drive and Open from Google Drive. Notice when I do that, I now see my Google Drive. If it's a Google Drive file, it will be a small blue square. Click the document and click Select. Google Drive files will open on the web in Google Drive. Now, to work with this in Microsoft Word, I'm going to have to go to File. And I'm going to click Download As and Microsoft Word. It will download in the bottom left side. I will click that and it opens right into Microsoft Word. When you open a file in this way, you're going to have to click Enable Editing so that you can edit it in Word. That's our second option. Our third option is we have a Google Drive ribbon in Microsoft Word. When you click Save to Drive, you can enter a new name for the item. I do suggest that you change your names and put version numbers until you understand how files are saving. When you click the My Drive button, it opens into Google Drive. Remember, if you used a shared folder and put it in that folder, it saves with everyone who is shared to that Google Drive folder. Once you're happy with where you've saved it, click OK. It will then upload to Google Drive. From the Google Drive ribbon, you can also click Share with Others and change your sharing. Notice that when I click the Share button, I can also get the shareable link or a public link to share this document. I can click Done when I've shared. I can rename the file, move the file, and if you click Settings, you can actually see a powerful tool to help you. You can see that right now I've set mine to show Microsoft Office and Google Drive files. But say you've been using it a while and just want to show Office files, you can change it to just so, show Microsoft Office files. You could use all files, although I don't really recommend that for beginners. Close this when you're done. Now we're going to head over to Google Drive and see what this looks like. So when I open Google Drive, you look in the bottom left corner and you can see whether it is a Google Doc or you can see whether it's a Microsoft Word file. Now when I click the Word file, it's going to open and give me two options. I can either view it only and just look at it, or I can edit it as a Google Doc, which will save it as a new file. Now this is the biggest drawback I see of this setup. You could really end up duplicating a lot of files, and this is why I suggest giving it a new name. So when I click Edit as Google Docs, it is going to actually save this as a new Google Doc. But for those of us who use Google Apps for Education and also love Microsoft Word and PowerPoint and all these other tools, this is a great way to be able to share files or even back them up for our students and our teachers.